The sky is pitch black. What time is it? You turn to check the clock. Oh my gosh, that cat is it. He needs some milk! Yo, yo, yo! What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wingate TV. I am here with a game that I'm not exactly even sure of if I even want to do this or not. It's called Do Not. And I repeat, do not take this cat home. I don't know what it's about, so don't even ask. All I know is that I saw another YouTuber, YouTuber play it, and I don't know. I, I, I want to see how this goes. And as y'all can see on the screen, it might be better than I actually think it will be because it says this game is not suitable for children or to easily disturb. So that means it's one of those type of games. In that case, okay. What? Maybe I'm a little bit more excited to see how bad this can actually go. But if read all this, yeah, it depicts all this that I don't feel like reading all that, but if any of y'all have any of those type of problems and y'all feel sensitive to this, just just don't even watch it because I I, I don't want to be the reason why somebody has a bad day or their day gets worse or they get offended, something like that. We're just we're just here to play the game. That's all. Let's do this. I know I said let's do this, but it's just this is the actual screen for it and I I I don't want to say anything until we actually get into the game. Oh, it's definitely one of these type of games where I got to read. All right. Let me just move my chair. If you guys enjoyed this video or any of my other videos, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all of it. I do this for y'all. All right. Hope y'all got snacks too. All right. Let me just stop stalling. Let's go. You're not having a great day as usual. I'm having a fine day. Ain't nothing happened to me. So I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, it's raining. You. Okay. It's just, I don't get to type in the name or nothing. Okay. Let me just stop. Oh, great. It's the first time in a while that you felt like going out. Oh, I must be a loner. But in the middle of your walk, it starts to rain. Oh, typical. But, maybe this is just a sign that you should have stayed home today? Yeah. You can always try again tomorrow. Right? Question question mark? Like, yeah. You turn to head home when Now now it didn't scare me, it just surprised me just a little bit because I didn't expect to hear that cat meowing. Like, I know this has something to do with a cat, but I didn't think they was gonna put the cat noise in there. Huh? What was that? Clearly you know what it is. You don't know what a meow is? There are only a few people around on the street. Makes sense due to the increase of missing persons around the area recently. So, knowing that, why are we even out? Why? Just, just tell me why. What sense are you still staying out there for? Well, that and the weather. Dot, dot. Dot. But none of them react to the sound at all. What? Now I'm confused. Curiosity guiding your steps. You follow the sound of the entrance of a dark, gingy alleyway. I don't care who was in that alleyway. I'm not putting myself in danger. I'm, it, there could be a woman asking for help. I might think to help, but I also got to think twice about what I'm getting myself into. It could be a trap. could be a situation you are not prepared for. I'm talking too much. It's just like, bro, I'm just, I, like, I got too much in my head that I just think about when I just these type of situations happen. I'm sorry. You timidly enter the alleyway and walk forward. The ground dampened by the rain makes your steps sound louder and more confident than you actually feel. And this, this cat still meowing. Finally, the sound source comes into view in the cold, dim light of the alley. At the end of the alley, in a big cardboard box, is a cat. 
Now, what y'all think here? There's a cat in the box. It's not like he's, like, it, and he's, like, not crying or anything. I mean, he's meowing, but we don't know why he's meowing. He's sitting in the box like this, looking at you. He doesn't look scared or nothing like that. So don't y'all think there's something weird? I, I don't know why I'll still stand like that. Don't y'all think there's something weird about this situation? That cat is just in the box, just looking at you. He's not scared or nothing. I don't know. So, see, uh, this is why scary moves happen. Huh? Oh, yeah. Guess that should have been obvious. You freaking... Yeah. It's an interesting looking cat. Its pretty yellow eyes shine like gold among the dark sea of its black fur. And it comes... And then it comes out like this. Like it's expecting you. It's not scared. That is... Get out. Get out. It puts its front paws up on the edge of the box and looks up at you. Another meow. And the screen shakes like we're so scared. Like like we didn't just hear that meowing two minutes ago. So cute. Oh boy. And it definitely knows it. And it's definitely a trap if you haven't realized already. You've never had much of an opinion one way or another about cats before. But if they're all like this one, it's a shock they haven't already found a way to rule the world. Why the hell would you say some shit like that? I can't I can't be this player if they think this if they think this way. Uh, you don't think you'd mind blown Oh, wait, I said that wrong. You don't think you mind bowing down to a feline overlord. What the hell is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Dot dot dot. You look around the alley with a small frown. Who leaves cats in cardboard boxes these days anyway? Wouldn't they just jump out and leave the box eventually? You're starting to think about things, right? So, if you're thinking about that and the cat's still in there and it doesn't look, like I said, scared, why are you, why are you there? That's the real question. Don't ask questions that people, other people are doing when you're doing the dumbest thing possible. Dot, dot, dot. The cat doesn't answer you. I wasn't fucking asking the cat. The cat can't talk. Obviously. It also doesn't do as you suggest and leave the box. It's just looking at you. As if waiting for you to make the next move. It's not good. And they give me the freaking choice. And they give me the choice. Clearly this, this you know, this, this game says do not take the cat home. But I got a feeling that maybe we should so the game will progress because if we do not take it home wouldn't it just end the whole point of it is to do stupid things to see what I do want to see what happens when I go off of my instinct and do not take the cat home but I don't know y'all we stupid up in here we taking the cat home yeah look at my face I'm not happy dot 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 you know what? You reach into the box and pick the cat up, holding it out in front of you. We, ha we have some sympathy. Why not? You're all alone. And well, I'm kind of in the same boat myself. So, so that means you pick up a random cat. You bring the cat close. You didn't realize it was shivering until just then. But it slowly breathes easier as it presses into your chest. Now that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, we didn't know it was shivering. But that's still not... Don't don't let your guard down. Don't let your guard down, though. Because I'm, I'm not trusting this. Why not stick together, right? At least for a little while. Is he... And the cat's purring. Is he homeless? Is is this... I, I don't know. Like, we don't, we don't even know where we just came from. You think a little while, it'll probably be more like a day. You'll be responsible and take it to a shelter tomorrow. But for now, let's get you out of the rain, okay? If you make it through t uh, today, shoot, if you make it to tomorrow, you stop by a small local pet store for some cat food. 
then head back home. So we just got money like that. We, you live in a modest apartment. Okay, we're getting some backstory on what, what, who we are, where we live. Not really who we are. I mean, where we live. So we, we got. We, what's our job though? If we got this modest apartment, one bedroom, one bathroom. So he obviously has enough money to be living in a house by himself. One, you living alone in it. So it feels weird having another living being inside it for so after so long. Even if it is just a cat. Don't matter. After. Hey. Turn the beat up. Hey. Hey. Just found his cat. Hey. Just found his cat. Rat a tat. Tat. <laughs> Let me stop. I, no, I, I can't. After locking the front door and placing the cat on the floor, you watch for a moment as it curios curiously explores a new environment. Leaving the feline to its own devices, you set about making the both of you some dinner. You take out the can of cat food and open it with the tab on top. That's what the, that's what the cat food looked like. <laughs> you put some cat food on the saucer and click your tongue to call the cat over to you. You know, something like that, right? No. It perks up at your beckoning and rushes over. It looks at the plate of food. Dot, dot, dot. Do you not like it? And completely ignores it. You're a cat. Why would you ignore food? I, who knows how long you actually been out there. I, I, I still don't trust this, y'all. Not hungry, I guess. You try not to let it annoy you. The cat doesn't understand the concept of money to appreciate that you spent your hard-earned cash on it. Yeah, but then again, you did not have to take this cat with you. So remember that, if you're going to be mad. It's just a cat after all. Okay, don't make it seem like that. I'll just leave it here if you get hungry later, okay? The cat rubs his body against your legs with a purr. Okay. You smile. That's enough of a thanks for you. It follows you into the kitchen as you start your own dinner. This song is still going, this music is still going on. You decide that you have enough ingredients for a sandwich. Bread toasted, mayo, excuse, sorry, mayo and mustard spread, turkey and cheese and lettuce perfectly placed, tomatoes. <laughs> now there was no sound, but uh, the screen just went like, he said tomato slice, I think, and... Ow! You wince as you cut your finger on a knife while slicing a tomato. You dunce. I thought something else happened. I thought you got your neck slit or something. I don't know, bro. Wait, actually, if he got his if he got his neck, then he wouldn't... Stupid! You feel a little embarrassed for such a blunder and sigh, tossing the knife onto the cutting board. You're about to head to the kitchen for a bandage when a cat hops up onto the counter. Bruh, get off the counter! Get off the counter! No one asked you to be up there. It smells at the knife and meows almost pointly at you. <laughs> don't worry. I'm alright. It was just an... Why is it... Why does it keep shaking? What? You watch as the cat starts to... What, what is he doing? Lick lightly but enthusiastically at the blood on a knife. Bruh, so you don't want cat food, you want human blood. This isn't a cat then. What the heck do you ever see that happen before? When have you ever seen that? At your blood. Yeah, clearly it's our blood. You're so shocked that by the time you come to your senses, the knife has been completely lit clean. I, me, I don't know. I'd be feeling very, very, very apprehensive right now because you didn't want cat food, like I said, but you like blood. You want blood. That's not a that, that's not good to think about. You have that in your mind now. What are you gonna do about that? The cat sits back, staring at you. Dot dot dot. You feel a little uneasy. Sure, cats are meat-eating predators, but that was a little weird. 
right? <laughs> He's starting to question himself like, is that weird? He don't know shit right now. Sure, you're no cat expert, but that was definitely not something an ordinary cat would do. He's gonna say right again, ain't he? Right? <laughs> Yo, this dude. That was a weird meow, bruh. Dot, dot, dot. Well, regardless. Hey, cat looking blood. He's not a blood. Bruh. Hey, hey. Regardless, you're not about to abandon a cat in need. Let me stop. Let me not. You're not about to abandon a cat in need while still raining outside. Not after all your efforts. You were going to take it to the shelter tomorrow anyway. What's one night of awkwardness? You're about to find out. You've just seen what just happened, so it could get worse. Weird or not, it's just a cat. Just a cat. The rest of the evening. Unfortunately, goes downhill from there. Oh boy. Even after covering up your fingers cut with a bandage, the cat keeps trying to lick at the wound. While you're eating your sandwich, while you're cleaning up the kitchen, while you're trying to watch TV, basically anything you're fucking doing, you gently push it away every time. But you're starting to get worried at the strange behavior. Why are you now starting to get worried? Like, why now? You should have been worried when that cat didn't want no food. What if it's got a taste for blood and thinks you're the food now? You're not sure what you'll do if it starts to get more aggressive. I got a good idea. You just, you know, give it the cat a good kick in the face. That ain't that big. You keep thinking about the cat food sitting in the corner. Untouched. And he's still meowing. That's the second time third time. The, the screen shaking keeps making me p paranoid. That's why I keep... Ah, uh, uh, come on! Enough already! You shove it away a little more forcefully this time. Out of annoyance. You feel bad immediately, but before you can do anything, the cat meows sharply at you and dashes off around the corner and into the hall. You sigh deeply. At this point, you're just worried that it's going to take a bite out of you in your sleep. Maybe a vet will have an idea on how to calm it down? Yeah, can you go there now? You can only hope. We don't have many other options left other than tossing a cat back out in the rain. <laughs> Maybe do that. You'll probably save your life. After finding the number of a local vet, you pick up your landline and... Bro, this thing keeps surprising me. And it's not even that scary right now. Stop doing these sudden movements. First the freaking screen shaking, then the lights turn it off and I'm not even done fucking reading. There's three, stop it. The lights just went out. The lights don't just go out like that, bruh. Not all your lights. Oh boy. Great, just great. Rain must have knocked out the power. Shit, I forgot. I said the lights don't just go out like that. I did forget it was raining. You check your cell phone only to find out that it's out of batteries. What year is this? What phone still has batteries, bruh? I mean, you do have a battery, but you can't get into that battery. So, the fact that... I don't know what year this is, bruh. You must have forgotten to charge it before leaving out earlier. The outing had been so spurred in a moment that it had no doubt messed with your usual routine. You grab a flashlight and turn it on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This ain't even a scary game like where you I actually gotta play it, play it. But just reading through this, it's just I have no control. This is where it actually is more scary because I have no control over it. Da, da, da. It's quiet. Where's that cat at now? It's too quiet. Did the rain stop? But then why did the power go out? Are you starting to think about what made the power go out, dude? Because it's kind of obvious at this point if there's no rain. No rain, no thunder. Ta, ta, ta. You look outside. The sky is pitch black. What time is it? You turn to check the clock. Oh my gosh, that cat is. He needs some milk! Now, most of y'all might think this is not scary, but these subtle sounds and shit, and then, like, 
Did that just say kill? Yo, I'm not even looking at the... Kill. Help. And then this heartbeat, like... Say, oh, I, I saw them three sixes. Nah, bro. Four, four, four. I'm trying to read all that before I keep going to read. Three o'clock, twelve o'clock, four o'clock. Like, I don't know what the fuck time it is. Kill, help. Yeah, this cat. This cat is messing with something. The cat sits on the top of your digital clock, staring at you. Thinking now, you realize the clock shouldn't be working at all with the power outage, but the numbers are lit up. But the numbers are lit up. That should tell you something, shouldn't it? If the power's out, how the fuck is the clock working? And going completely haywire at that. The cat stares at you. It's completely still. You'd think it was a statue if you didn't know any better. It's not giving off any indication that it's alive. It's not even blinking. It's not even breathing. But. It's eyes. Oh boy. Why am I so scared by this? This isn't normal. You're afraid. You want to run, but you're afraid of letting the cat out of your sight. You consider tossing the cat out after all. I wouldn't touch that if I were you. I, I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But, as soon as the thought enters your head, you feel a sharp urge to vomit. Those eyes, it, it's eyes, it's hold, hold you still. I'm fumbling my words, I don't know why. Even with your flashlight trained on it. Its pupils are large. Round it. I am not done freaking... Am I reading that fucking slow, y'all? Because come on, bruh. The flashlight flickers. Nah, bruh. Really? Really? Bruh. Dot, dot, dot. That cat gonna come out. The cat's gonna come out. The cat is gone, bro. I can't. Nah. Evie, I was going to have you right here, but now... This game doesn't seem like it's that scary, but it... it nah, bro. I can't. Fear immediately grips into your mind. The silence... And the freaking heartbeat of that. Punctuated with the rabbit pumping of blood in your heart. It's overwritten as your ears slowly start to pick up the sound of static all around you. How's the clock working with no power? You're just now asking that? I asked that when you first saw the shit. You don't know why such a question matters at that moment. But you feel as if as if having an answer will make sense out of everything that's happening. The order, that order will be restored. Dot, dot, dot. But no answer comes to mind. You back away from the clock and feel as if the air itself coils tightly and abruptly in response. Like a predator prepared to pounce. But waiting, waiting for your next move, like you did before, but you're afraid to move. You're even afraid to even take a breath. Da, da, da. But you can't stay still forever, right? Nah, you can't. Whatever is watching you, you can already feel its impatience. It's too eager. You don't know how you know this, but you can sense it as clearly as if it had whispered. Bro, what? If I know anything about cats, that other shit I might, might be able to ignore. Might. Not that, not that shit with the clock and it staring at me like that. But the other shit I might have been able to ignore. But that, the talking, that's the last straw. Ain't no way a cat can talk. Right into your ear. Right into your soul. Dot, dot, dot. It won't let you wait it out. Not that you could, even if it did. You can't stay here. You have to run. With this thought, a sudden primal instinct awakens within you, making you tear yourself into a hasty burst of moment, movement, of action. But you're still weak from the fierce grip on your mind. Your legs tangle together under you in your haste, and you fall to the ground. What the freak? Did he just bite me? A sharp pain explodes in the center of your foot. I think it did just bit the hell out of my foot. At first, you think you've broken your ankle. 
but something warm and wet trickles down the length of your foot, pooling underneath it. That bitch definitely bit me. You hear the sound of metal scraping on tiles and skidding across the floor as if it had been kicked. That bit. He really d wind it from your fall. You look up in the daze and see the object glinting in a strange light coming from the outside. What the? He did that? Really? The light pouring in from your now open front door. How the fuck? Thoughts of how, when, who, what in regards to your inexplicably open door screech to a halt as your brain finally identifies the metallic object you've been staring at. It's your kitchen knife. It's still tainted red from your earlier blunder? But that's not right. Wasn't it completely lit clean by the... You don't feel yourself... Didn't you just say your foot was like... You gulped dryly at the pain in your foot. How you just not realize that that pain in your foot might have come from that? You barely have time to wonder how the knife ended up in your living room floor to be stepped on. Instead of resting on your cutting board in the kitchen where you left it. When you spy something in the darkness just beyond the knife. Dun, dun, dun. It spies right back at you. Oh, come on, stop sh showing more, more of itself. A pair of glowing golden eyes come forward as the cat emerges from the shadows into the light from your doorway. Oh, no. It pads lightly over to the knife as it's skipping into light. And she's gonna lick the blood and bends down to lap at the blood dripping from the blade. Bro, what the fu- What is your issue with me? I took you home, and you gonna do this shit to me? Uh, your senses slowly begin to overwhelm you. Don't, don't. This, this game is good. This game is good, bro. I don't care about quality, like, if it was, oh, 4K and all that. It can look like this and still be good, because they, they just get you. This just gets you by the reading, the noises, it just- all at once, just whoever made this game, y'all, y'all got it, y'all got it. But I ain't no bitch. All right, let's go. You chill the air as it starts to suffocate you under its weight. The sound of your shaky breaths, discordant against the static, now piercing your skull. The dryness on your tongue spreading to your throat. In incomprehensible sight of the stray you've taken in, licking away at your kitchen knife. Once again, completely clean. The scent of blood from the flesh wound on your foot. Oh, he, he's about to get up. Blood? Bruh, you should have known that already. Uh-oh. Dot, dot, dot. Golden eyes slide up to you as in response to your sudden realization. Blood. You're hurt. How the fuck you about realizing that? You been knew you were hurt when you fell down. You said the pain from your foot. Your foot is bleeding. You're bleeding. You're bleeding. Why you gotta say it three fucking times? The cat barely moves, shoulders twitching as if it just considering the act of pouncing forward. Da, da, da. But you're already on your feet and out the door. Oh, but you got that much fucking, you know what? You run, or rather limp, down the empty street. The sky is black and bleeding red. But there's a strange light emanating from nowhere that casts everything else in white. The houses, the trees, the road, even you. Everything. Except your blood. You could just barely glimpse the bloody imprints in your foot leaves in with your wake with every moment impact as it makes with the ground. It hurts. It, it hurts. But you can't stop. You don't stop. Not when the shadows grow around you. Not when you feel the gaze of eyes all over you. What the hell is that? Not when the road ahead of you is darkened by long shadows something behind you. Even then, you don't stop running. Because... It's a fucking cat. If that's a cat right there ahead of you, then... What is the world... What in the world is behind you then? Wait. Oh, shoot. Y'all, 
I hope that I hope there's no time limit because this is a good time to stop. Something behind something is behind me. I didn't realize it at first the way it was talking. I thought it meant the cat was behind me. No, the cat is in front of me. What the fuck is behind me? Like he said. Was is the cat like working with somebody somehow and is somehow able to understand human speech? Because what the hell is behind me? That the cat is just sitting there like this, doing this shit, waiting for me to make a move. I don't like these choices, bro. Y'all know I'm not good with choices. Look behind you. Keep running. Ooh, this is hard because what dumbass looks behind them? When they know the cat can lick your licks your blood. Well, pr presumably hurt you, presumably hurts you, and then licks your blood after. Something way bigger is behind you. Why the fuck would I do that? You know what, bitch? Listen, one on one. It's me and you, cat. That might have been a dumb idea. Da, da, da. Huh. Interesting. How very, very interesting. I bet it is, bitch. Da, da, da. Ending zero. It begins. What the? I put Evie in the wrong place. What the fuck was that, y'all? What the heck was that, y'all? <laughs> what was that? It said ending zero. It begins. What begins? What the hell was this even, even this game? I'm about to push, like, before I... Endings. Let me just... Something happened. You think, anyway, you can't really... 40 endings, bruh? 40 endings. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see what happens when you push continue. Because it does it stop us from... Does it... Da, da, da. I'm walking. Right, of course. Oh, wait. No, this is... Wait, this is different. The weather is absolutely perfect today. That's a good sign, right? Maybe your luck is finally starting to turn around. What the hell is going on? You tentatively allow yourself to feel excited for the possibilities of where you could go or what you could do. Maybe even who you could meet. You're so deep in thought that you almost miss it. Wait, I'm missing the whole point of this fucking game, I guess. Because what that was an ending, but then now we're it's not it's not it didn't go back to the same thing we the same beginning we did. This is it's not raining at all. It's sunny, and it seems like it's a complete opposite of what was happening. He's happy. He was sad in the beginning the, the, that first time. What the fuck am I missing? Oh, I like I love these games. I love these type of games where there's different out outcomes. I love these games. Oh, we're, we're, oh my gosh. Oh, shoot. So, I'm guessing that, yeah, this is the same thing except... We're happy and it's sunny. Yep. At the end of the alleyway. Yeah, it's a fucking cat, right? Yeah, it's a fucking cat. Wait. There's something off about this because it might look almost the same except about the sunshine and we're happy, but I feel like something different is going to happen if we choose to take this damn thing home. So, he didn't say so cute this time. You look so familiar. We're, we're in a twilight zone, bro. We're in the twilight zone. This is not, that was not a dream or nothing like that. That actually happened. If he looks so familiar, that has to be a sign that we're in a twilight zone or some shit. Right? This cat is messing with our brain, bro. Then again, it is a cat. Not many different ways for a standard cat to look, after all. Oh my gosh. This one sure is a cutie, though. Just look. It's not glaring at you or hissing at you for getting this close like other stray cats have in the past. It's just sitting there patiently, waiting for you to do something. <laughs> you know what? What happens if we don't take this fucking cat home? 
sadly, as cute as the cat is, because the last time we made a dumb decision, this time we're going to make a decision like, oh, let's not take this cat home. You never take this thing, this thing home with you. Dot, dot, dot. You just can't take it home with you. You're a responsible adult. You know, you are. With rent and bills to pay for. Not to mention, you need to buy food and survive too. There's no way you can care for a cat long term, right? You can barely afford this little outing on your day off. Oh, that cat's still meowing at me. What to do? Oh, shit. So if we don't take the cat home, we still doing something with it. Well, maybe. Play with cat. On oh, second thought, what the fuck is this option? What the fuck is that? You are not ready. What the fuck? Feed cat. You just said you didn't have no food. You would need to buy food. Play with cat. Or leave it. Let's play with the cat. Let's play with the cat. Aw, you just want a little attention, don't you? Yeah, that, that's, that's what it wanted, right? The poor thing must be bored sitting in that box all day. You're not sure you're much of an interesting companion, but you're willing to do your best. There's gotta be something you can entertain the little critter with. Why you call him a critter? But what? Check pockets. Let me see what I got in my pockets for your ass. You dig into your pockets. You find a smallest piece of string in your pocket, left pocket. Not very helpful. Now, if that was the string that's part of a yarn, they love that shit. But that's all you got. That's not. That's not gonna do anything. This string is far too short. An eager and excited cat leaping for it could easily lead you get bitten and scratched. In your right pocket is a bar of chocolate. Can it have chocolate? Because I know that dogs can't. Not at all. But cats, I'm not too sure about. Not too helpful either right now. Maybe they can't. The only other thing you've got on you is your phone. Dot, dot, dot. It's not much of anything a cat can play with, but... You're about to give your fucking... Oh, I was about to say. There is something you can do. Take a picture of the cat. So you're just giving a cat a freaking... Okay, this fucking cat a photo shoot. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Well, that was fun, right? Not for the cat. The cat didn't do shit. Okay. No. Why, why is the music going away? Why is the music going away? Well, you enjoyed yourself. With nothing else to do and no intention of taking the cat home, you decide it's probably best to just leave. You don't want the cat to be too attached after all. At least you'll have some memories to take with you. Um... Okay, um, see you around, I guess. Good luck. Da, da, da. Uh, okay. You turn around and walk away. <laughs> Bash. <sighs> Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm not with through with this, bruh. Stop doing these sudden ass fucking sounds. Hmm? Your phone just got a message. Open it up and... Da, da, da. What? Aren't I cute? <laughs> nah, bruh. How the fuck did the cat get a pi get, get that picture? How the fuck did the cat get the picture that we just took? W well, one of them. And how are you texting me? You're a cat. Well, I guess a cat. But... I don't get it. It's a picture of a familiar looking cat. Huh? The cat does look cute and happier in the picture. But how did they get this picture and send it to you? But it's not a picture you recognize. Wait, oh, we didn't take that picture then. What the heck? D did I? You didn't take this picture. You peek over your shoulder at the cat. He's gone. But the cat is simply just looking at you. Alright, now this shit is weird then. How the fuck you get that picture then? Who who sent that to me then? Who was sending me that? Oh, oh not a cat sad, huh? The meow sadly. 
as if pleading you to come back. That's a trap, bruh. Nah, get out of there. I, nah, I, this is this is really just this is really just making me. You ignore the cat, briskly walk out of the alley without another look. Get the hell out of here, bruh. Phew, that was weird. You had a good distance away when the phone. Not again. You reluctantly look at the new message and don't ignore me. What the? Yo, this is getting more creepy. Who is sending me this shit? And I know I just saw that cat looking like that, but who took that picture and sending me this shit? The guy. Creeped out. You decide to just go home. I, I don't like that. Alright, that's the third time, motherfucker. Why are, you, why are you harassing me? I know you're seeing these. Oh Come back. What the? Who's texting me that? That cat doesn't have a phone. Come back. Some same fucking eyes he did in that first. The first, uh, I can't even talk. Is it, come back. Bro, it's getting creepier. Bruh, his eyes. Is he still walk home? Bruh. Bruh, what, what the fuck? What is. What? Okay. I don't even want to. Uh, bruh, do you see. Bruh. I, I don't even want to. Come back. This is keep... Bruh, you can quit it now. It's gonna keep telling me to come. What the fuck? Dot, dot, dot. Bruh. Can see you. Can you, bitch? No, you can't. Can always see you. What the fuck? I see them all rise. You can't hide. Bruh. So this is what happens when you... So either... Okay, I'll always find you. Bruh. What is wrong with you? Da, da, da. Your eyes turn around nervously. Certain that you're being followed. You think? I think it's more than that than this. Da, da, da. But there's nothing here. Finally home, but you feel too shaken for any relief to calm you down. Okay, it's, it's beating again. You rush to the bathroom and slam the door behind you. Everything's okay. Is it? This isn't real. It's just like a bad dream. Never ending nightmares. Uh, is, is that what is that what I'm experiencing? Everything's okay. You fumble in the dark to turn on the sink and splash your face with some cold water, hoping it will calm your mind and stop hallucinations. Because that's all they are, right? Hallucinations? Da, da, da. You really regret leaving home today. You must have been overworking yourself more than you realize. Yeah, that must be. Oh, no, oh boy. Message. You drop it. Your phone alerts you to, you to yet another message received. Dot dot dot. Bruh, I don't want to check this fucking phone, but I feel like if I don't, it's gonna keep happening anyway. While shaking hand with shaking hands, you look at your phone. Hi, friend. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Uh, this is really creepy, bruh. The. Startled, you whirl around and inst instinctively jump back. This is really creepy, bruh. You slip, smashing the back of your head into the bathroom mirror. You don't register the pain just yet. Your eyes shifting wildly around the room. This shit is too fucking loud, bruh. I can't. That shit is creepy. There's, there's nothing here. Nothing at all. You feel dizzy. You dazedly feel the back of your head and examine your head. Da, da, da. You really can't see anything. Da, da, da. But it feels warm. It's blood, bitch, and wet. 
The smell of copper fills the air. Yeah, come on, it's blood. The dizziness overwhelms you, and you collapse in the bathroom tiles. Uh, help! You reach for your phone to call an ambulance. Dot, dot, dot. Don't reach for that fucking phone. Oh, the batteries are dead anyway. Dot, dot, dot. Ending 30. Photobomb. You know what, y'all? You, you, you know what? Nah. Nah we're, nah, we're done with this game. And I don't mean done as in... I don't mean we're done as in we're not playing this game ever again. But do y'all fucking see how... I don't know what that means. That first ending, it begins. So we just walk to the cat. Like, I, I, I think we would have died if we would have turned around and saw whatever the fuck was behind us. We walked a cat, nothing, and it just ended. It begins. But that ending 30, you really nailed your good side on this one. Okay, you know what, y'all? I'm gonna stop it right there. Two good, two, two good, two endings. There's 40 of these shit, so that means we'll definitely be back here. But y'all got a good taste of what this game is about. And I know there was that little warning in the beginning of this game, but I didn't expect it to go like this. This shit literally creeped me the fuck out. And I'm. Now I need to go like. I don't know. I need to go, like, lay down and just, I don't know, cuddle up. Like, curl up, I mean. Like, I, bro, that shit literally gave me the chills. If you guys enjoyed this video, because I, fuck, I, I really didn't, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace! Wait, so I kind of just realized something. Like, I, I calmed down a little bit, but before I go, I just realized that this whole time... Yeah, the title is called. The title is called. I'm still. I guess I'm not calmed down yet. This title is called. Do not take this cat home. That last ending. We didn't take the cat home, and we still got. We still got fucking like bullshitted. So the whole point of this game is bullshit because don't tell me to do not take the cat home in the the freaking name of this game, and then when I don't, you still fuck with me. That shit don't make no sense, but I just had to tell y'all that. I'm, I'm out. I can't.